agonizing. That's how families describe the wait for any word on their loved ones. For others who lived at the Champlain Tower South but weren't home at the time, they too are in shock and trying to understand what happened and why. Well, in the case of one man, his unusual decision to spend the night at his girlfriend's was a real lifesaver. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer has their story. As families here in Surfside wait for more answers, we spoke with a man who said he wasn't home at the time of the collapse, but should have been and normally would have been home. But a simple decision to stay at his girlfriend's house quite literally saved his life. My building collapsed and she was also shocked and no one believed. Eric Demora and his girlfriend Fernanda are hugging a little tighter today. His building in Surfside now a pile of rubble. It looks like a bomb. When I saw the image that he was shaking and he told me, I go in there. Demora said on Wednesday night he'd planned to go back to his condo at the Champlain Towers on Collins Avenue. He lived on the 10th floor. Instead, he decided to stay at Fernanda's house. He woke up to the news his building, his condo, was gone. It wasn't about my home. It was about uh, uh, the life that I have, I had there. It's about the lives that are there, the families, the kids. As the search for survivors continues, Demora says he feels lucky to be alive, and he's hoping for good news for his friends and neighbors who were inside when their home collapsed because there's a lot of hope still to find people alive. And he told us it was an unlikely decision for him to stay at his girlfriend's house during the middle of the week, but that decision saved his life. In Surfside, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News. Just incredible. If you want to help those suffering after the building collapse or the first responders digging through the rubble, Neighbors for Neighbors has established a Surfside Relief Fund. Call 305-597-4404 or log on to neighborsforneighbors.org slash Surfside Fund. If it's easier for you, we have a QR code you can use right up on your screen there. If you scan it now, it'll take you to the donations page on our website. More than $47,000 in donations have poured in already, but anything you can do will certainly make a difference.